Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. If you always watch our channel, you may know that the story about Chinese chip giant SMIC. SMIC, as a foundry company second only to TSMC in China, has been able to provide foundry services with the highest 14 nanometers process for global customers so far. Although this is far inferior to TSMC's 3 nanometers and 4 nanometers, which sound so high-end, no one expected that it is the deep cultivation of mature process that makes SMIC the most promising foundry in the mature process market. Enterprise Recently, SMIC released its quarterly report for the third quarter of 2022. Among them, SMIC mentioned that it will increase the capital expenditure plan for the whole year of 2022 from the original 32.05 billion yuan to 45.6 billion yuan. As we all know, due to the weak demand for consumer electronics, the mobile phone market and the computer market have declined one after another, and the entire semiconductor market is in a downward cycle. In such an environment, many wafer foundry companies such as TSMC, Intel, and global foundries are reducing their expenditures, but unexpectedly, SMIC has reversed operations and made great efforts to make countercyclical investments and the investment amount has not dropped. Instead, why is SMIC? You know, SMIC's average revenue in the first three quarters of 2022 is only about 13 billion yuan, but it has proposed a capital expenditure plan of 45.6 billion yuan, saying that it should be dormant in adversity, but SMIC bucked the trend. Because of the increase in expenditure, many people can't understand it. In response to the doubts of the outside world, SMIC gave an explanation. It is mainly to pay the advance payment for the advance order of long delivery equipment, which is used to ensure the continuous expansion and layout of subsequent production capacity. It is worth noting that a considerable part of the 45.6 billion yuan is used to purchase lithography machines from ASML. While SMIC is developing strongly, ASML, which has mature technology of DUV lithography machines, is becoming a new assist in the development of China's semiconductor industry. ASML is a Dutch company. Due to the extensive use of Hanmai technology, every shipment of lithography machines must be authorized by the United States. However, as overseas semiconductor orders are becoming more and more difficult to do, ASML recently decided to push back the US ban and sell lithography machines to the Chinese market. At present, only 90 nanometers lithography machines can be commercially used in China, so ASML's DUV lithography machines have become the top priority if they want to break through the chip technology of 28 nanometers and below. With the semiconductor market shrinking, why did SMIC dare to do such a big reverse operation? The reason is actually very simple. SMIC's mature process is becoming more and more popular with customers, especially the 28 nanometers process that SMIC is actively expanding. Driven by new energy vehicles, the demand for automotive electronics has increased significantly, making mature processes such as 28 nanometers a sweet spot in the field of chip foundry showing a market situation in which demand exceeds supply. Compared with traditional fuel vehicles, the number of cores used in new energy vehicles is two to four times that of the former, and what is lacking here are mainly MCU chips 
and IGBT chips that rely more on mature processes. According to a report by market consulting agency Alex Partners, this wave of core shortage, the tide, may last until around 2024. For the next development of the chip market, Zhao Haijun, the co-CEO of SMIC, gave a judgment, the market will change from a general shortage of cores to a structural shortage, and SMIC's advantage is that it can produce chips in each mature process, switch freely between process nodes. In October of this year, SMIC announced that it will invest 52 billion US dollars to build a 12-inch wafer factory in Tianjin, which will mainly produce 28 nanometers to 180 nanometers process chips. It is expected that the monthly production capacity will reach 100,000 pieces. International's factories in Beijing, Shenzhen, and Shanghai are also under construction at the same time. According to SMIC's latest financial report, in the first three quarters of this year, SMIC achieved operating income of 37.763 billion yuan, a year-on-year -year increase of 48.8%, net profit was 9.39 billion yuan, a year-on-year -year increase of 28.3%. It has to be said that the mature process is highlighting the importance of SMIC, and in the mature process market, it is competing head-on with TSMC. On the other hand, TSMC, even though he has seen the market potential of mature manufacturing processes, and delayed the 7 nanometers plan of TSMC's calcing plant, turned to focus on 28 nanometers. However, TSMC, which has already invested in the embracing of the United States, is difficult to expand the production capacity of mature manufacturing processes like SMIC, and has basically locked itself in the advanced manufacturing process. The view that TSMC is locked in advanced manufacturing processes is not groundless. Because in addition to SMIC, major foundries including Intel and Global Foundries have also signed long-term semiconductor production agreements with customers, or established industrial strategic alliances, and they will continue to provide services based on mature processes and if TSMC wants to turn around and increase its own investment in mature manufacturing processes, not only will it be difficult, but most of its customers will be taken away by competitors, and the pressure will be great. In addition, there is another reason, that is, domestic substitution is accelerating. Compared with smartphones and computers, the localization rate of domestic automotive chips based on mature manufacturing processes is the fastest. Some market analysts predict that by 2025 and 2026, the localization rate of domestic automotive chips may reach 30% to 50%, with the help of the rising domestic new energy vehicle market. SMIC is bound to usher in a new performance peak. At present, domestic semiconductor equipment companies have sufficient orders and can still maintain growth in 2023. More importantly, with the growth rate of domestic substitution, the proportion of domestic semiconductors will increase and more domestic chips will emerge, which will enable SMIC and other local semiconductor manufacturing companies to maintain long-term development. And TSMC, which has already gone to the United States, may not be able to enjoy this wave of development dividends, and can only be jealous. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe our channel.